Look how long his neck is, dude. Look how long his neck is. Oh my goodness. His face looks like he's got a smile on it. Oh, I know he's got a smile now. Look, check it out, guys. How awesome is that? So, guys, one of my best friends, Bob Hammond, the reptile legend himself, just called me up out of the blue. He says, Tanner, do you happen to like Mata Mata Turtles? I said, Bob, I love Mata Mata Turtles. So, look, he says he's giving me one. I'm up here at Pet Smart right now in Chattanooga. Just picked up a brand new turtle setup. Getting ready to load this up in the back of the truck right now. We'll get home and I'll try to do a cool video of us setting this bad boy up. Stay with me. What do you say, boy? <laughs> All right, just got it in the truck, guys. Let's get this thing strapped in. Try to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So once again, we have just picked up the ZooMed 40 gallon premium reptile habitat for turtles. Let's go home and create this new habitat for our new Mata Mata turtle. And just to let you know what type of person I am, I roll my carts back. Stacy, tell everybody how excited you are about getting a new turtle. So excited. <laughs> tell them for real. Tell them the Mata Mata. So You've always wanted one, right? Yes. I love aquariums. She's been in here saying what? She's been saying what? <laughs> Stacy is a reptile freak, guys. I can't, I can't get her to stop buying uh, snakes and stuff. I mean, why do you like snakes so much? She <laughs> hates snakes. All right, guys. It's been a couple days now since you see me coming out of. Uh, where'd I buy this tank at? Who didn't? Pet Smart. Pet Smart. <laughs> it's been a couple days now since you see me coming out of Pet Smart with this brand new turtle habitat that I bought for the Mata Mata turtle. And I've been waiting on a few other things to come in. I ordered an extra light right here. Um, supposed to be pretty, pretty bad. I got a digital thermometer here and we've got a brand new Eheim 125 watt heater. It says those Mata Mata turtles really like the water to be about 80 to 90 degrees. We've got a lot of crap going on right now. I got my brother Tyler over here helping me. We're getting ready to set this thing up. Um, it is not going to be finished, guys. I'm just going to set it up to get everything going enough to get the turtle in here and get it safe. It's kind of a rescue situation, so I need to go pick up this turtle ASAP. Bear with me. We got to get to work. Let's get started. And guys, the reason I'm I apologize about the mess, guys. This is all happening in such a frenzy. So what has happened here is tragically, I've had a friend pass away. Um, he had just received this Mata Mata turtle that I'm getting ready to go pick up as a gift. And supposedly the turtle's about seven to eight, seven to eight inches around. And after he died, his, I was told that his kid called my friend Bob, who uh, originally bought the turtle, said, hey, this turtle's just in a bucket. So he hadn't even had a chance to get it set up yet before he died. And as any of you know, um, the Mata Mata turtle, the water needs to be like 80 to 90 degrees with a basking spot. So I'm just trying to get this tank set up as fast as I can. They don't have all that where it's at right now to go over there, like I said, and hopefully save this turtle. So I read online that Mata Mata turtles don't like a rough, rocky um, substrate because it can like damage their skin. So I ordered the Carib Sea Supernatural Sand. I've got three 20 pound bags that we're getting ready to put inside the aquarium now. Look at that hunk right there. Good looking brother. Say hi. Boo! All right guys, I'm in the third bag now. This makes 60 pounds of sand that we have put inside this. Once again, guys, everything you're going to see in this video is going to be completely temporary. You know I'm going to be getting some driftwood, all kinds of rocks, plants, you name it, fish. It's going to be awesome. But for now, we're just trying to get this thing set up to save a life. All right, guys, Tyler just turned the water on outside. If you see this little piece of tape I've got on the glass, I've got that marked at 10 inches for 10 inches of depth in this water. Um, it says the Mata Mata Turtle prefers to have about 10 inches of depth max. So if any of you out there watching right now are experienced Mata Mata turtle keepers, feel free to please drop some comments below. Tell me some, you know, must have tips. Keep in mind, this is going to be temporary. You know, I'm going to hook it up. Just look at the jungle behind you. Yeah, I ain't playing. It's going to be awesome. So guys, let me know. Tell me the secrets, guys. I need to know what's up. 
there was three packets of, I don't know, biological, whatever, liquid material that came with uh, one in each bag of the sand. And look how clear the water already is. I'm planning on just putting the heater inside here right now to let this water start heating up. And then once I get home, I will finish uh, assembling here this new filter and everything for this turtle setup. And this ZooMed turtle setup came with a double dome light double with, <laughs> with one UVB light and one just regular halogen light, splash proof of course. We're gonna need to put that on here. You can see down here right now. I set that heater on about 84 degrees. So the water's gonna be heating up. I'm gonna go ahead and get the light set up, turn it on, and then we're gonna go pick this turtle up. Probably stressed out. They say they stress easy if you don't set them up right. Check it out, guys. It's my first time I've seen the Mata Mata turtle over here at Bob's now. We've gotta get this guy home and get it under some heat. But just giving you a close up of it, let's go home and get it inside the tank. And Bob had this super cool piece of driftwood outside that he's had in his collection for quite some time. And we've laid out our measurements here right now. And we're getting ready to knock the edge of it off so that it will fit perfectly inside that 40 breeder. So we're getting the saw ready now. And we're getting ready to start cutting on this piece of wood just to have something really cool to put inside the Mata Mata setup. And Bob just finished making that cut right here with his jigsaw. Check it out. I'm gonna hopefully get this thing inside the tank if I can get it in the shot about like that right there. So the turtle will have all this whole bottom area open and he'll be able to climb up nicely outside of the water. It'll take me several days to get this piece of wood waterlogged. I just took that thing into the gas station right here because this is where you can buy um, like shiners to go fishing with. I just bought four dozen shiners. I was telling the guy what, is what it was for and uh, he's from India and he's never heard of a Mata Mata turtle, of course, just like I'm sure most of you haven't heard of it as well. But I just brought it in there and showed it to him because I said, dude, you may not ever get a chance to see one again. So anyways, guys, let's go home and get it in the water. What I'm doing right now, guys, I've been in here cleaning the turtle shell off, getting any algae and stuff that I saw off of it. Turned him over. Watch what happens when I turn him over. Look how long his neck is, dude. Look how long his neck is. Oh my goodness. Let me back up and get in the shot for you. Wow, check that out. And underneath you see a lot of reds, but this is probably gonna be one of the best shots you're gonna get of this turtle before I go in here and put it inside the aquarium now. Once again, guys, this aquarium is still cloudy. I haven't even gotten the filter turned on yet, but guys, we gotta save this turtle's life. It was just in a bucket. It's gotta get warmed up. I've already got the heater going. I've already got both lights going, actually three lights going, so Let's go in there and put him inside the tank now. It's okay, dude. Told you guys I got a mess over here beside me to clean up. Oh man, I ain't got the lid open yet. Hang on a second. Here we go, guys. Try to sit him down here real easy. That water's still a little cool, but at least now he can get up there and bask. Wow. Can't wait to get this tank set up. It's gonna be so cool. I'll show you guys some more of them whenever I get everything uh, finished up here. And guys, I've been over here trying to plumb in this freaking filter right here, and I have no idea how long it's taken me to get that intake, and I'm trying to get that overflow to come through right under there. I was gonna do the spray bar. I'm really about tired of fooling with it. Um, I'm pressed for time right now, and I really wanna work on this when I've got more time to spend on it. So everything's running now, guys. I've been over here checking for leaks and everything appears to be dry. I've got the intake way down there in that bottom corner. Here is the Mata Mata turtle. Sorry about all the air bubbles, guys. You know the situation if you've been watching this video all the way up to this point. We've got uh, four dozen shiners right there. We're getting ready to put inside here. Bob said that this turtle has not eaten in several days. I'm not sure exactly how long, so let's get some shiners in here now and see how he reacts. Guys, Stacy just walked in and I was sitting here talking to her, just throwing these, oh look, 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 they did it again. Come on camera, get him in shot. So that's two guys already. I mean, just as soon as I threw him in here and you already know he's stressed to the max. Man, I'm sorry guys, I can't get a good shot. Oh, look, 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 look. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. 
And he made a liar out of me. Wow. That is so awesome that we got to see him eat right off the bat. Man, I wish those air bubbles would clear up. He's been chowing down for the past few minutes, guys. I've been trying to clean up some of my mess. Wow, I'm getting you guys some awesome footage here. And you know, it's funny. Just a few months ago, I was over at my buddy Blake's house down at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. And we were going through all of his turtles and tortoises. And you already know, he's got more turtles and tortoises than anyone I've ever met. And I was like, dude, you don't have any Mata Mata turtles, do you? And he's like, yeah, I got a pair up here. I'm like, no way, dude. Because, man, guys, not many people ever get a chance to see any of these things in person. All the way from South America, check it out. I can zoom in on them here and give you guys a better shot. It's so funny, his face looks like he's got a smile on it. Oh, I know he's got a smile now. Look, check it out, guys. How awesome is that? Cayman, he's got a fish in his mouth right ma right now, dude. Oh, wow. Whoa, he's huge. Yeah, well, you think about that, man. Awesome. Cayman's just now seeing it, guys, for the very first time. Look, son, all these what? fish, they're hiding underneath him, thinking that it's a safe place to hide. Little do they know. They're all going to wind up inside his belly. Tell everybody how hard that thing just bit that fish. Like, uh, it was just like saying, like, they're flipping huge dogs and they bite flipping hard. That's how hard it hit. It could like... Oh, he might be about to get one right now. I don't know. Let me see. It's about to break the whole glass. It sounded like it for real, didn't it? Yeah, it really... I thought I bro broke the flipping glass. Tell them what we named him. Satan. That is such a lovely name. And he died. He came back to life. <laughs> He's telling you guys that Satan died, but now we brought him back to life because my old great Dane, his name was Satan, and he died back in 2011. So now we've got a new pet named Satan. You happy little devil. Look at him smiling right there. <laughs> You're such a cute little Satan. <laughs> oh, you know everybody what? loves you Satan. You don't want to see him eat. Here's the Mata Mata. All full and stuffed. He has probably eaten literally two dozen of those shiners right there since last night. So I'm glad to see that he's got an appetite. Hopefully he's going to be A-OK. -okay. So excited to have him. Really been fascinated by this species of turtle my entire life. Oh, check it out, guys. One of my baby eastern newts is out. Don't always get to see these guys up close. Let me see if I can zoom in on him. Oh, he's right there on that moss right now. Check him out. That is a baby eastern newt. Look at the oranges and the orange spot right there. Oh, I done spooked him. You can see my green tree frog right here that I usually feed in every one of my videos. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and feed him right now. So let's see if we can grab this super worm right here. Okay. Here you go, buddy. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, so savage. There you go, buddy. There you go. And that's my little friend right there, guys. Well, there you have it, guys. This right here behind me was definitely an unexpected animal, but I am so glad that we we're able to rescue this guy. I have always, always been fascinated by this species of turtle. And I know I can't wait to get this tank behind me set up and jamming just like the jungle tank there, but more like an underwater version for the Mata Mata turtle here. So guys, if you've enjoyed watching this video, do me a favor if you haven't done so already and smash that subscribe button. Guys, it's free. It's not going to hurt you at all. Leave me a like and go ahead and drop me a comment right now because guys, you already know, I do my very best to answer each and every single comment left on this channel. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for your time. And you already know, I can't wait to talk to all of you in that next video.